Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your news from Bale Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery on Crystal 93. Summit School District is hiring a chief talent officer. For the first time ever, a top-level administrator will oversee hiring in hopes of recruiting and retaining long-term staff. We have been reporting on rate increases at Bright Health Insurance, once the cheapest health care option here in Summit, now growing far more expensive than ever before. As one local official puts it, Given all the work that's been done at the state level, given all the work that Peak Health Alliance continues to do, this just seems like an outlier. We have also been reviewing health care filings through the state, showing that Bright Health is barely willing to budge. In six weeks, the State Department of Insurance has objected to Bright's rate increase seven times. The provider has countered every time, saying locals in Summit and other mountain counties are objectively more expensive to cover. Other providers have been doing the same, like Friday Health Plans, Cigna, and Anthem. Putting the pressure on Bright Health is the FERC, through Executive Director Brianne Snow. She sits on the board at Peak Health Alliance. We're all advocating in our own different ways, trying to make sure that there is appropriate pressure placed upon, right? And the, the information is out there of what this would do to Summit County specifically. Snow, like others, thinks Bright Health might have grown too much too fast. When you're dealing with insurance companies, especially insurance companies that are, that are new to Summit and who created plans, um, that might not be sustainable. It's just something that we have to um, work through. At least one summit official says it could be time for Peak Health to drop Bright Health. County Commissioner Tamara Pogue. There are other carriers in this state, and while some of them have not been willing to partner with Peak, some of them have been. And so perhaps it's time to look at the carriers and see whether or not Bright remains the best partner. Up north in Route County, Steamboat Springs has replaced Summit as the most expensive health care in the state. Route commissioners recently sent a scathing letter to UC Health, the biggest hospital in Summit, when UC Health backed out of talks for cheaper, local-friendly health care. Ann Ladd, CEO at Peak Health Alliance. We're in it for the long haul. High health care costs aren't going away. It's going to continue to be an issue, so we're not going to go away. That UC Health partnership will not happen until 2025 at the earliest. Local fire danger remains low today, with no fire restrictions here in Summit. In sports, the Rockies play the Braves today at 520. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location on Airport Road. Today on The Warm Up. We used to have competitions, but I guess now we're all like coming as a team and playing together is amazing, man. That was Alex Espinoza, senior forward on the Summit High Boys soccer team, now stacked with guys who have played together since they were knee high. The team I got, man, the confidence we have right now. We got him, I just play with everything. Alex scored both goals in a recent 2-1 win over Steamboat. I just got the ball, I guess I did like this, uh, <laughs> they were telling me I made like a weird uh, spin move, you know, I dragged my defender and I like brought him over, lured the keeper to the right, shot it to his left again. Head coach Joe Tuan Daniel says Alex is playing on another level this season. And the senior, he knows it. This energy we have, man, we already got released. Get it out there, man. So we came to do it. that last year, I'm trying to have fun with these kids. The Tigers are out in Glenwood today for Glenwood Springs. This has been the warm-up, brought to you every Thursday and Friday by iFurnish in Frisco and Kremlin. All afternoon in Frisco, the Summit Girls rugby team is playing itself for the annual green versus white scrimmages. Yesterday was the Peaks Trail Time Trial, Breckenridge to Frisco, where Taylor Sheldon was fastest on the bike course, finishing in 28 minutes, 42 seconds. Maria Leach won the ladies' crown in 36 minutes, 25 seconds. Next in final race in the Town Mountain Bike Series is the Fall Classic in two Saturdays, September 10th. Phil Lindemann with your news from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery on Crystal 93.